Hello YouTube, what is going on? It is Davidian here with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today I will be showing you guys how to install the equivalent Exchange 3 for Minecraft multiplayer. I had a gentleman called 510 Frank 510 ask me if I knew in any way how to install the mod. And seems I am taking mod install requests, I took the liberty to make this video. And hopefully this will help others as well as Frank. Anyway, this one's for you, buddy. First things first, I need you guys to do is click the first link in the description. It will bring you to the minecraft.net forward slash download page. Scroll all the way down, if you can, to the multiplayer server section. There is a minecraft underscore server dot jar. Download that to the desktop. I have already done that and placed it in its own little folder here. Um, if you want to pull it in the folder, pull it in the folder, it'll be tidier for you guys. So, once you've got that, double click your server and it will generate a world for you, as you can see. 44, 55, 65, 74, 85, 95, done. So now that that is done, close that down. It may take a couple of seconds, but you can see here it has generated some files, some info about your world. And it has to be the Minecraft jar. Don't download the Minecraft server exe. It has to be the jar for this to work. So now that we've got that sorted and covered, close that down. Click the second link in the description. You will be brought to the Minecraft Forge download page. Uh, we're doing this for Minecraft 1.4.7 so we'll go for the top link click the universal link for me download it to the desktop that is what I'm gonna do it'll load up AdFly it'll take a couple of seconds skip the ad and then it downloads easy as that now we can close that down Click the third link in the description and it will bring you to the Minecraft forums for the equivalent Exchange 3 thread. Now that you're here, scroll all the way down to the download. We don't want the forge, we want the universal download. Works for both client and server, so it says. Click that. This will also take you to AdFly. Take a couple of more seconds. Skip the ad and it will begin to... Do oh, yes, you do want to keep this and it's downloaded as quick as that. Now close this down. We don't need that anymore. Right, first things first, you need to install the equivalent Exchange 3 on your Minecraft. So we click start, type in percent app data percent, click roaming, double click your Minecraft, uh, go into your bin, find your Minecraft.jar here, right click it, open with WinRAR. Now, I like to use WinRAR, but I think you can use this with 7-Zip. If you use any other, just get WinRAR. I mean, it's free. Just use it. Right, so we've got the Minecraft jar open. Select the meta inf. Delete the meta inf. Very important you do this. You won't be able to install a mod if you have this still in your folder. Okay, so... Now that we've deleted the MetaInf, right click your Minecraft Forge file on the desktop, go open with WinRAR. No, I do not want to buy this. You are free. So we got the side by sides. Side by side, sorry. Control A or select all of the contents of the Minecraft Forge drag and drop it into your equivalent 
no, not your equivalent exchange, sorry, your Minecraft.jar, sorry. Yes, so we've put that into your Minecraft.jar, sorry. Also, so that you guys know that the Forge has a meta int file, but it does not matter if you transfer this over to your Minecraft jar. The contents of the meta inf is perfectly fine. So you can copy this over. So that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So close down Minecraft Forge now that you've copied all the contents over. Oh, right click your equivalent exchange 3.jar. Go open with WinRAR. Now, as you can see in this, there are three files. We have com, meta inf, mcmod.info. I need you guys to copy the com folder and the mcmod.info. Do not copy over the meta inf. So we've got these two files selected. We just drag and drop it into your minecraft.jar, just leaving the meta inf. We do not copy this. No. No just don't okay so we close that down uh, I'll minimum actually I can close that down sorry right so a quick test or a quick check to see if it is installed on my minecraft it'll load up minecraft blah 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 it says I have four mods loaded so I'm going to click mods we got coder Equivalent exchange 3 there at the bottom. Brilliant. I know that works. So I'll close that down. Okay, so now we need to install this to the server. And it is basically the same way as what you did with your Minecraft.jar. So open up your Minecraft server. Now you have your Minecraft underscore server dot jar. Right click this. Open with WinRAR. No, I do not want to buy you. Select the meta inf, delete the meta inf, with just like your normal Minecraft.jar, getting rid of that meta inf. Now, right click on Forge, open with WinRAR. And no, I still don't want to buy you. Okay, so we got those side by side. Select all the contents of Forge, drag and drop it into your server yes thank you close down forge right click your equivalent exchange open with WinRAR right so now we select com mcmod.info drag and drop it into your server do not install meta inf do not okay so that is that done for your server. Close down those. Now double click your Minecraft underscore server. And it will run your server. May take a couple of seconds. Done. So now it's ready to load. So I'm just going to... Um, close that and minimize the server for now open up my minecraft login it's going to be a bit laggy I'm afraid my screen recorder still sucks now go multiplayer I have my server already added so I'm going to go into my server Ooh. oh what a bizarre looking world Okay, so I'm going to put this into creative. Ah, uh, no. Or maybe I'm not. Is it this? Ah, uh, no. Pants. Okay, so I don't know the uh, the code for this, but um, if you see on your server, it will say user connecting i underscore davidian i 
connecting with mods equivalent exchange 3 um, whew, bear with me a second I'm just going to quickly check this uh, Minecraft Doop -doo. Just going to scroll down. I think I just went past it. Yeah, it is game mode. Okay, so minimize that. I'm going to go game mode. Space one, space I underscore Davidian I. Need to change that D to a capital. Let's not get lazy. Hmm. Ah. So, yeah, my game mode has been changed. Groovy. I need stone. Um. I need iron ingots. This is just a test to see if this works. And, doo -doo -doo. and then I need a crafting bench. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to close that down. Let's see if this recipe works. Come on, baby. Uh, we put gold in the center. Silver above and below, to the right and to the left. And then stone in the top corners and the bottom corners. And then we have an inert stone. And that is a single, well, not a single player. What am I on about? That is the equivalent exchange items. Um, if I go into creative menu, we have equivalent exchange has its own little tab got red water but as you can see there's not much of a variety of items as of yet so so that you guys know ooh water red water I have red water yeah back to the point there's not many items for you to play about with on the equivalent exchange three this is not two or one but three not many items so don't be disheartened just wait for updates okay so that is the tutorial on how to install it i hope this video helped you guys don't forget to rate and subscribe if you give it a like you will help this video get noticed for others if it works for you please leave a comment saying that it works it's a bit disheartening when all i seem to get is people um putting comments that uh, the install isn't working. I know this can happen from time to time, but people are quicker to put a comment saying that something's not working than put a comment saying when something is working. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could do that for me. That would be amazing. Um, also, I'm doing mod install requests, so if you want me to install a mod, just say it in a comment or inbox me, no problem. I will be happy to install it for you guys. Okay, so hopefully see you guys soon. Take it easy.